What's up, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. And today, I'm going to tell y'all how you could potentially make in between $10,000 to $100,000 a month doing real estate. Now, I've done this, and I did this when I was like 19, but I was just doing it just to try it out to see if I could really do it, right? And the secret is, is if you don't have no money, this is, I'm going to tell y'all what all you need. So what you need is an investor, a.k.a. a buyer. And, no, an investor, a.k.a. Yeah, a buyer and a, a, a seller. So you need a buyer, somebody who wants to buy, which means they have the capital in order uh, to get the property. And then you need somebody that is selling a property, okay? So just think, I know a lot of y'all probably like, what? And this is with zero dollars and you can potentially make five to 10% her mom off of a deal okay now I watched and I was reading in between because I was in um, what's his name Grant Cardone like I've been watching Grant Cardone for years y'all and the first time I did one of his methods was I was 19 years old and I knew somebody that needed an apartment so I did it on a smaller level you could do it on a bigger level if you you know, if you know people and you got the connections and you know how to get the deal, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, somebody might be selling the property or they might need uh, looking for somebody to rent out their house or whatever. Instead of doing Airbnb, this is what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that you can get rich overnight or nothing like that, but I'm going to walk you through some steps. Of what you can do, you know what I'm saying, to potentially make ten thousand to a hundred thousand dollars in a fucking year, and this is no gimmick, this ain't no facade, this ain't no fake shit. Okay, I got, cause all I, all I was trying to get me was a, a computer and some cash. Okay, I got my first computer, like actual desktop computer, this way. Um, shout out to the couple. It was like a, um, I think they were like Chinese or Japanese. They gave, I did, I did a deal with these people, bro. No cap. Like, I thought it would never happen. All I had to do was go find a tenant for them to rent out to that person. And they gave me, I think it was like, yeah, $100 cash and a computer. Okay, now, you know, desktop computers, it was a little window, it's probably worth about two, three hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? So I made roughly about four hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? I could have asked for it all in cash, but I was like, if y'all got a, a computer that I can use, you know, whatever, because I'm trying to start my own little business, you know, um, I'll just take a computer if you got one and a hundred dollars cash flat. That's all I asked for. So, I did the deal. I got them a tenant. Boom. I said, oh, it's that easy? Oh, it's that easy? Oh, snaps. Um, so, this is what you need to do. So, if you want to do it on that type of level, right, you find somebody that has an apartment complex. And you might got a friend, right? You might got a friend, right, that be like, hey, man, I, I'm trying to move. I need somewhere to stay. This is my budget. Can you help me out? Me, it was a guy friend um, that I knew. He was super cool, one of my homies, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I need somewhere to stay, and I need somewhere ASAP. I said, well, um, hold up. I got some people that I know that got, they got this building across the way from me. And if you just hold off about two days, bro, I think they can get you in. Let me just, you know, see what I, if I could work my magic. So me, I'm a young girl. I come up to these people. Hey, I have a friend um, that would love, because I've seen some people move out the, uh, this little apartment or whatever. And I was like, um, hey, I got a friend that would love to rent this apartment out. 
I don't know if y'all cleaned it out yet. I'll help y'all clean it out if possible. Whatever, woof the woof. Okay, you might have to do extra steps like this. You know what I'm saying? But you don't necessarily, not all the time, you don't have to. But if you want to get that money and you want to get it quick, this is, what, this is some steps that you might have to do. You might have to help them clean it out or something. Something easy, you, um, if you're a guy, you know, pick up a couple couches, something lightweight, it ain't gonna be nothing too crazy, you know what I'm saying, just sweep, and me, I'm female, so I'm just sweeping out little stuff, getting cobwebs, wiping down windows, the shit that I already did, I do, uh, like, I ain't did it in a while, but I do apartment clean outs, you know what I'm saying, I do that too, um, so, you know, I did that, got it, Got it, you know, got the steps done, everything like that, whipping 24 to 48 hours, I made four to five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Easy, quick, simple, you know what I'm saying? Um, all you gotta do is just try. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm gonna show y'all like I'm gonna show y'all like an area. Um, let's say Texas, for example. It's a lot of rentals down there. You might have a friend or some. Um, so I'm gonna go to a, a area that I know. So we gonna look for rent, okay? Boom. So mind you, I said, hey, I have, you know what I'm saying? You might say, hey, I have a friend, you know what I'm saying? And whatever, whoop, whoop, cause they gonna make that money. Bro, most people who rent, they rent for at least six months or longer. You know what I'm saying? Most people, you know, that's you just in a bad area or something like that. But even then, sometimes in bad areas because the, the rent is low, which means, um, you know what I'm saying? Most people ain't going to leave that area. You collect the rent off tip top, like, like an area, like, you know, say, hmm, fourth floor, fifth floor or something. You know what I'm saying? You might make a good, they might make, say, eight times 12. Let me see. Eight, 12. Potentially, like, 8,000. Mm, probably more than that a year. Like, I'm going to just say eight times 10. Uh, that's $8,000. We're going to say for 10 months. You know what I'm saying? $8,000 a year. Off rip. Now, that's on the low end scale, okay? You know what I'm saying? Boop -de -boop. So you might have a friend, you might say, hey, can I, can I get, um, 3%, you know, you might make an extra two, three hundred dollars a month, maybe one, two, three, I don't know, I ain't did the math, you know what I'm saying, whoop -de -whoop. you got to do your math, though, you know what I'm saying, um, but, so we have these properties, and we're going to go for, see, price, right, and we'll say the max we want to spend is fifteen hundred dollars a month. Okay. Now, boom. Remember, I told you you have to have a buyer or a renter and somebody that's selling or trying to rent it out. You know what I'm saying? So you need a renter and somebody that's trying to rent it out. Okay. Boom. All right. When you got these two, you don't need no cash. I promise you, don't need no cash. You don't need no cash at all. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they telling you this, but they telling you it in loops. They just telling you in loops. It's so many loopholes to so much shit. You don't have to be a real estate agent. Like I really, and with this recession going on, I'm telling you, like it's so many people right now, they spending this much on an Airbnb when you could pay. I know people right now spending they probably spend it two or three hundred dollars a night. If you average that out, three to four, within three to four nights, maybe five, you didn't pay a monthly rent. Instead of just going ahead and let me go ahead and do, uh, you know, see if you can find like a, a month to month, you know what I'm saying, little thing, or you might say, hey, I want to rent this out just for three months, or I want to rent it out for one month. Um, before you rent it out to a renter and give them a, a whole lease contract, can I rent it out for one month because I'm going to be vacationing, you know, and I'll make sure I keep the, the property clean, you know, everything. I'll get the electric on in my name, 
you know, whatever, whoop the whoop, and then like a week before you know that you, you're going to be, um, that everything's going to be transitioned, you know, you get the electric and everything out your name and all that one stuff, you know, whoop the whoop, bang, bang, okay, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of renters, they will rent you a property, you just got to let them know, like, hey, um, I do have somewhere to live, you know, I just wanted to rent this property just for one month, instead of me renting it for X amount of days, you know, you could come to an Airbnb host and they, they might do it for you. They might say, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let them rent it out for a whole full month. Um, they might add an extra hundo on there just because of, they won't be able to make that daily money from it, you know, or whatever. But I'm telling you, there's so many ways. Like right here, this is a one bedroom for $9.50, they also have one for $1,050, okay? Decent little area. This is Midtown. $1,500 with a pool. Uh, got a gym, everything that you need. Then they got a little small little cottage house. You know, $1,500. This one right here is $800 a month. You know what I'm saying? Man, there's so many ways. Like, and I'm telling you, you come to these renters and you be like, hey, I got a friend that would love to rent this out. Um, can I get a percentage, you know, um, every month? You might be like, I don't want no cash up front. Let me just get a percentage of their first year lease. That's the extra tool. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get your contract right. Make sure you have your contract right. You know what I'm saying? To do the deal. You know what I'm saying? And this is easy money. This easy money. And that's on a low scale. Just imagine if you did it on a big scale. Just imagine. So, um, you know, I just really wanted to drop these gems on y'all. Um, this is free information. You know, um, why not? You know, I'm not a real estate agent. Um, right now, I am actually in school too to become an accountant so um make sure you have your numbers right and make sure you account for everything and if you do it right when you get a property it could be a tax write-off i'm gonna say it again it could be a tax write-off so do it and do it right and i'm telling you it's a win-win until next time i'll holler yeah.